What's up guys? Tomorrow is going to be October 7th and I'm going to be going out tomorrow morning. There's supposed to be a pretty big cold front coming in tomorrow morning so I'm going to try to get on the stand. i got a pretty good spot picked out I think. It's back in some an oak thicket and stuff so it should be a pretty good spot for the time of the year because acorns are really dropping right now. So It's supposed to get down to like 40 so it's going to be a lot cooler than it has been at nights in the morning so should be good morning getting all my stuff ready here and uh it's way in the heck back in there and uh gonna be doing a hanging hunt too i just got my saddle and my sticks so finish up getting stuff ready here and i guess i'll see you guys tomorrow morning probably pretty early so see you in stand
much just telling you guys, I don't think it matters that much to the deer as we think it does, so I just got tickled to antlers because it usually calms the deer down quite a bit, so it's October 7th, I tickled the antlers together and he came in within like a minute or like less, and I was trying to change out the GoPro batteries and he caught me off guard and started making a rub down there, so I got put the GoPro away and got this camera around, got my bow, and he crossed the road up here about like, I like guess right at 48 yards, and I'm not comfortable shooting that far, but you never know what a deer's going to do. At that far, he could already duck and turn right away and start running away before, before it hits him, so. Holy cow, guys. The frame on that thing is huge. I have no clue, like, which deer that is, like, I'm pretty sure I'll have any drill cam pictures of them at all or anything, so. Oh my gosh, that's a big buck. That might have been my biggest one.
yards way down here at the end of this lane. Yeah, I, I, I can't talk. I rattled in my bow right now. I rattled. And the thing came in from like all the way. came to like seven yards. Now I'm only like ten feet off the ground. He was right in front of me. He put his turned his head away. And I drew back, put off the shot, and I couldn't get the camera around the tree though. So you guys couldn't see it. I'm like, I'm not messing this up. I gotta get a shot at this buck. I appreciate sure this thing that I saw earlier. Oh my gosh, I'll probably think I'm so stupid right now. I can't even talk. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Calm down. Oh, Holy crap, I call Gooch. Oh, I'm a little bit worried though. I'm so worried actually. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh my gosh. I saw this, the same buck I saw earlier, I think. He was like, I saw him 150 yards away crossing this thing, this like road again. So I rattled. He came into like six yards. And I, I shot him and he took off. He ran about 15 yards and he stopped. I, I'm almost positive he made a really good hit. I thought it, I thought it him crash. But I'm afraid it, it was, he was so close. I'm afraid I hit it a little bit low. I, I thought it was a really good shot, but I think I might hit a tiny bit low, but I don't know. So you think you got him? I'm almost positive. I, I thought it was a perfect hit. It looked like he's like six yards, so I'm like 10 feet off the ground. I could see like every single detail. It was so close. I was shaking so bad. He came in from Bradley and came up to like right here. Dude, it was insane. I'm not for sure if I got the shot though because my stupid camera on would go all the way up the tree. I got really good footage of him coming all the way up to me. That's freaking like, awesome. Yeah, he's he's huge though. He's like a he's like a 12 pounder with like all these all these inside points. Jeez. What do you plan on doing with it? I don't even know. I'm gonna try to get out of here as quite as I can. I thought it was a perfect shot. The only thing that threw me off is he ran about 20 yards and stopped and walked. I could see the blood gushing out there. So I was oh, thinking. well, you're, you're thinking, fine. Well, he walked out. He walked like 10 yards back of that brush. And I saw I heard a crash, but I couldn't see him. The buck wouldn't just walk like that if he wasn't like one hung or something. So I'm really scared. No, I think you're fine. If you ever saw blood gushing, then you weren't like in the guts. No, it was like a perfect heart. I mean, like, it's either one lung or Well, he didn't go very far. I'm gonna try to be as quiet as I can and get out of here just in case. I just wanna play it safe. Alright. Oh, well, I'll wait for you no matter what. So. Alright. Alright, bye bye. Oh my word, Mom. I shot him. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm almost positive it's the same one. But he's like a mainframe 12 pointer, it's always like inside points, he's wicked. Come on. Does not look the best. This is where he was, he's standing right here. And it's right there. I shot, and you can see there's blood splatter on the ground. And there's a ton of grease. There's also some blood. I am so scared. Oh, 
goes from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. But <sighs> go ahead and walk out, get back to Foiler, go back to the house, give it a few hours, get the team together, and uh, hopefully we can get, hopefully we can start tracking, and maybe it is a hard shot. But anyway, I'm head back to the Foiler. Hopefully, I don't think about it too much, but that's gonna be all, all that's on my mind until I find it. So put it on. He comes to six yards, and I smoke him. <laughs> You did? Yeah. You shot him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, Lucas. Dad, he's like a mainframe 12 pointer with these inside like points coming out. He's insane. He's a oh, he's like 160s. You freaking shot him? Yeah. <laughs> my mom, my dad, and Gooch are all coming to help look for it, but hopefully he's there. Oh man. I don't know man. Like there's dark red blood in the arrow. The arrow's out there outside. Yeah. There's dark red blood on it, so it has to be either long or I mean you killed him. You got there going? Yeah, I think it's I think I said it right here. There's a lot of grease on it and stuff, but I mean he was dumping red blood, remember? Like there's a lot of gristle and stuff, but I'm not fletching there's some good blood and Guys, this morning I was sitting right here. I wasn't even that high off the ground, uh -uh. and this buck crossed by like 48 yards. Went down here, and a little bit later I saw him way down in the woods, cross back over to the left, and I rattled. He came right in. He's staying right here, and I shot. That's my stand right there. It was like so close. Shot blew through him, and he took off right after here. Let me try that to say. Which way did he end up going? He went right that way, and that's that way. There's blood here somewhere. There's blood up here. Let's sort of stop it. Yeah, right there. But it looks pretty dark. There's a bunch of it right here. Right here. I don't know. Looks like paint here. Oh, it's blood up here. You got a young blood? Yeah. Oh, he's got <laughs> oh god. Good. <laughs> oh my word. Look at those stinking seven on the right side. <laughs> Holy Dude, crap. Seven Holy on the crap. Right side. The exit was a little back. There's no way. <laughs> He was right here, we literally walked in, right there. I know, I said that's what they do, they they just don't know what happened. It must have been cording to me a little bit. I mean, the entry is perfect. Nice, Lucas. Maybe it hasn't hit me yet. I'm just like not realizing it. <laughs> My word. Those little broadheads opened them up pretty good. Open them up, I wanna see where you hit them. Is that the entrance to the exit? That's exit. it. Yeah, so yeah. that's what we were seeing on the screen. Gosh, you can't pick a better spot. But it must no. have deflected. Yeah, yeah I might have hit that quartering to you a little bit. Quartering to you a little bit. Oh my gosh. That's good. I never would have dreamed he had this many points. <laughs> 13. He looks only. He's good. He's good. 11, 12, 13, 13. Yeah, I don't know he doesn't have a ton, but he gets he holds his mass. <laughs> oh my word. He's a fatty. He went all 50 yards. 
Oh, we ended up getting the buck. Came by at like 48 yards early in the morning, and I'm glad I didn't shoot because he ended up coming in later, just rattling. And even though it's October 7th or whatever, he just came in. He's just dominant in this area. But he ended up coming in, and it was just a great morning's hunt. I saw him, a smaller buck, and a couple of the does. And this guy came in like six yards. I was only 10 feet up on the stand, and it was close. But fortunately, I didn't get the shot in camera, but I would rather have gotten the buck and not got it on camera so I didn't I had no clue he had this many points. He's got thirteen points so hopefully he scores pretty good but he's gonna have pretty good uh main beam length way it curved around. It's exactly like Ellie's buck. Twenty five and three eighths. Main beams? 24 and 5 eighths. Dang it. Close. That's the left side. There you go. <laughs> what was it? 4 and 3 eighths. I hope like, she's that's right. That's my mom. I hope she's right. 4. <laughs> Four? That's still pretty good now. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Not terrible. I've seen worse. Yeah. <laughs> I've shot worse. <laughs> Me too. In 10, 14, 19, 23, 24, 27, 38. No, let's do 27 eighths. That's 3 and 3 eighths. Yep. I just agree, yeah. <laughs> just shake. 74. He's going to score better than y'all think, I think. So that's. 155 and 5 eighths. There you go. 155. Everyone guess under. I think. Five yeah, that's 173. Plus 18 is 173. Uh, oh, 75. Come on. 173 and 8 eighths. So 174. Well, that's, that's not. That's a rough score. Maybe. I mean, that's just you just gotta say that. <laughs> you just kind of throw that number around. Wait, it's 174. 174. And that's a rough score, so who knows? And that's just rough bone. He won't net that at all. What do you mean? He won't that's, get just, that's just length. Well, let's just keep it up that. They actually deduct you for some of this stuff. That's what that we sucks. think is cool. You know, these these not being equal, yeah, be a, they'd be a big deduction, deduction there. Oh my gosh. That's nice. And, like, it's rough score, so you could be off by an inch, so it's 175. There you go. Just round it up. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> we round to the nearest. I have a dad, so Don't cock it. Might have been in. Eight, yeah. Eighth inch here and there inflated though. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, come on. So I won the Alright guys, I was uh um clean out the buck and we we're about to take him into the uh Amish to get processed or whatever. <laughs> and uh my dad pulls out these old sheds from two years ago that we found behind our house. And this is a three year old here. We got both sides here, and we are almost a hundred percent sure that this is that buck. I mean look at all those little points he's got there. And that just looks like that has to be him you can see like that almost looks identical I mean I mean a lot can change on a buck over in two years but I mean like just the just the genetics of like the same it's got like the same stuff going on it's just really busy right here so <laughs> never in my mind I ever would have thought I killed that buck two years later but I've never got a trail cam picture of him it's kind of weird but oh man <laughs> I thought at some point in my life I would kill a buck this big, but never thought it'd be this morning. Like, oh man, that's wild. But anyway, I'm just so blessed and I'm just taking it all in right now. I've never, I just, man, can't believe I rattled them into this early in the year. That's wild. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Peace. See you on the next one.